King Maktoum. It's chaotic, but hey, it's home. It's chaotic, but hey, it's home. It's chaotic, but hey, it's home. These words echo in my mind like they were your own. And you can thank Sailor Jerry here for stilling my mind long enough to uh, come to terms with what I should do, which is offer UAE an opportunity for one of Cobra's poisonous jewels. I do know what I have. However, ice has stood in the way of me maintaining that fact. I have a message from Cobra. Something that you are most certainly not aware of in the UAE. We are not criminals. The United States government and the United States Congress and their intelligence officers are all saboteurs and frame job artists. The only real intelligence officers that the United States government has is uniformed personnel or military intelligence. G.I. Joe, the former true intelligence of the United States government, is no more. It has been decimated by the same saboteurs and frame job artists I just mentioned. And so, what I say to you, I mean sincerely. I understand you have the responsibility to the UAE and its defense interests to secure currency that helps the UAE. And so I do not fault you. Especially since I have been hindered by U.S. intelligence, these criminals, from being able to offer to those who deserve what should be probably rightfully theirs. That said, you may be wondering who these people are. Since you probably can't see, this is part of the Swedish royal family, and they call me Loki, the god of missing chiefs. I have made chiefs go missing from around the world many times. Mischief, the true meaning. And I have met a variety of different people along the way. When they encounter me, they don't necessarily realize they're dealing with G.I. Joe, a real American hero. I recently received a star, so I'm G.I. Joe, a real American hero with a star. And these people right here are essentially good and 
have had a number of different interactions with me. Not necessarily good, but then again, the interaction was tampered with due to ice. And I've met most of these people. I don't necessarily know uh, all of them as well as I know the Swedish people, but I do know that everyone shown here, including yourself, are all basically good and don't do anything despicable. And that may have been something that has escaped uh, the facts of people like that do popular media. So I just wanted to say that as a positive thing. Now, since there's such a large group of missing chiefs that I've created in the past, you should also keep in mind that I do transformations. And all of you together are like an elephant in the room. And we should add a prince, and so we will, a little bit later on. Many people don't understand the whole thing about Aladdin, that it is an amalgamation of a story, and it is not necessarily in the correct order, and neither are the characters, and that they have meanings in some cases at certain times, and that it is an instruction booklet that can be decoded if you're the correct person. Now, a, a lad means usually from Scottish, and I am an adopted Scottish, or was adopted by a Scottish leader, and that is how I fit into the story of a lad in a Thousand and One Nights, or A Thousand and One Stories, uh, uh, from the uh, Arabic tradition. And I just wanted to also point that out, that there is somebody, probably my sensei and a few others, who have been working for a very long time to try to bridge the separation between Northern Kingdoms and the Middle Eastern kingdoms. And I think that they noticed that there was problems going on in the Middle East uh, that led to some of those kingdoms disappearing unexpectedly. And this probably alarmed them. Though I can't confirm this, I do suspect that this is the case due to their not being very much heard in the Western world about what's going on in the Middle East in an accurate manner. There's always some sort of negative story going on and not too many positive ones that seem to be bringing the world closer together as opposed to the opposite. And so I wanted to make that clear that if you all get together you'll find out about Loki the god of fire, change, in the universal language of mind, but also missing chiefs. I ask you to consider flying me out to UAE. First, to speak with and apologize to an ex-girlfriend of mine, Princess Latifa. See, for all U.S. intelligence knows, I'm the head of British intelligence. And who knows, if I am the Merlin, like I claim to be, then I may very well be the head of British intelligence. And so, not just some criminal in an elevated position. 
And this right there um, is the basis for me asking an opportunity to apologize for the way we parted ways. As I thought just thievery from us was what was going on. Cobra. We took great pride in securing that which was once lost. The Merlin bringing back that which was lost. So, if you'd give me the opportunity to take her to a humble dinner and get the opportunity to see UAE for what it actually is, this mystical land of magic and sand, I think that I can make her feelings feel better about the time that we spent together and that we can find a way forward of sorts. And I'll put forward a way that this could possibly happen while also mending another issue which I became aware of. So good it's for reals. I even got a little red cape. She's correctly archetyped to Princess Jasmine for Disney. And I think that we could be friends. I mean, she wants adventure, and that's not really the way things go for princesses over in UAE, in that part of the world, really. I know this. I'm not a fool. However, an adventure with G.I. Joe is like no other kind of adventure. I mean, after all, I turn a toy stick in the form of a cobra cane, and a boat got stuck in the Suez Canal. I mean, Japan wanted to scan more ships, and I did hit a few more keys, but you know the story. An adventure with G.I. Joe is like no other. See, with G.I. Joe, the adventure has most of the bad parts, anyway, have already happened. And with new friends, such as Princess Latifah, the adventure would be on the up and up, the recovery part. You know, the happily ever after kind of thing. And I think that I could do this. I've got connections to some people, and people got connections that they want to have with G.I. Joe. And that makes for interesting adventure in different ways, unlike any other. And I think that uh, based on my dealings with other princesses, um, that's generally what they want, is they want something special and unique. And don't really have to do very much except interact from time to time in order to do that. So, one of the things that can be done is we could turn her into the real Princess Jasmine. Children around the world would go gaga over it if they realized Jafar was real 
and so was Princess Jasmine. And they found out that a lad in the story grew up to be Jafar. And that the story was a warning on what to do so you didn't make the mistakes and cause problems. But what's the difference between a genie and a wizard? Let's think Sailor Jerry here for either a stupid idea or a stupendous idea. Peace with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and any quarrel. Set up a UAE harem in Nao for enriching brotherhood. If you set up a harem, there's an opportunity to blend family together. And it can be done discreetly. If you do this, you will be able to have reasons for agitation cast to the wayside. Because family comes first, always, in every culture, no matter what the difference. And it's always equal, so there's no reason for conflict. Of course, making it premiere, you're going to want to have some premiere offerings. And my son, whose last name is Fiesel, which is Swedish, by the way, though he doesn't exactly fit in in Sweden, and that's why he's here in America. <clears throat> see, they don't see any value in anybody with the last name Fiesel. But that's not actually the case over there in the Middle East. I can assure you that <clears throat> with a last name like that, the whole Arabic world will probably be interested in an association with UAE's harem. But we're also going to need security, and I had pioneered an idea of having the Iranian ninja women as the security force. See, I and my sensei had a, a direct hand in their creation through inadvertent adventures with G.I. Joe and things we were doing in the past that weren't exactly colliding with each other properly. And so you're going to have to reach out in a way uh, to get them in line with this idea as well. But we can't go the Japanese route because Japanese people are still killing people in tourist traps, thinking they're threats to Japan when really they're just fanatical about Japanese culture and doing things like going to sushi bars or something. It's really complex, and you'll have to look into it. Uh, but basically, Japan is killing people and not doing any investigation uh, into the people that they've been killing. It's a lack of honor system. But I can tell you this, that the Emperor of Japan, Shinoda, and my Japanese wizard family all have honor. And they have enough honor for the rest of Japan. Now, enough of that. Back to the whole harem thing. It's a great idea. And I gave you some really good information on that.
King Maktoum. Fabulous is he, Prince Ally of Baba Yaga. Me. Prince Harry. Grave is the situation. It's been a number of years since we've last seen each other. But I'd like to invite you to a call to adventure. Inhibitions off. The gnomes, they call me Merlin in the darkness of the night. And I ask, who is this Merlin who has done this to me? And I find it is only me. And with this, I ask you, stand by me still. There is trouble in UAE. And I'd like you to join me as another Arabian Knight. I need one in order to handle this situation. UAE has great potential, but the despicable seek to ruin what might be a wondrous jewel in the future. Think back to the original story of Merlin, and you will understand exactly what I mean. And so I ask you, in the near future, swear before the pigeon, G.I. Joe, that you will do what is right, no matter what, even if you do not benefit even if you suffer unimaginably, I ask you to swear and do the impossible by being unstoppable. I still have my British made GPO boombox. I still got my Peter hat with ancient symbolism. And I got my King Kong book to tell the story of what is real. It is still I, Merlin. Leader of people. Prince Harry, spread my warning. The gnomes are being hunted in America. Anyone who can know that tyranny is hunting gnomes. Prince Harry, I respect you, and I understand you would like this fuel, which is Brightane fuel, and the torch I used in a previous video for Libertas. I offer this to you for your dedication to the Merlin. Thank you. I appreciate you. Generosity. I project. stand by what I said earlier, which is gnomes are being hunted. 
but it's because they can figure out how the siege machine works that's tyrannical. And it's a threat to people's cash flow from the government and their freedom to do whatever they want to innocent people or people they just don't agree with is really more like it. Of course, the reasons don't matter why they're hunting gnomes, just that they are. Anyway, this is a real call to adventure with things that are important at hand. There are things happening that have been going on for far too long that matter whether they, the good people win or the bad people win. The free people or the tyrants. And like I said, I'd like to invite you to basically go on an adventure with Merlin and help transform the world into the beautiful thing it should be. Instead of this disgusting, poisoned, discarding that has been spreading for far too long. Look upward, look bright, and don't forget to swear by the pigeon. And remember, King Maktoum, ever is he, Prince Ally of Baba. Prince Harry, heed my words very carefully. Last time G.I. Joe was ignored and silenced. Two ancient rings of teleportation for the librarians were taken by frame job artists and saboteurs and transferred to tyrannical governments under tyrannical and despicable terms. Do not forget this, because these problems continue to expand. They do not simply go away. The people that are doing this do not stop. And that is why an ally that is a prince and a hero is needed for Cobra. King Maktoum. Swear before the pigeon, you will stand with G.I. Joe, like many others. Swear you will do the impossible. And you will fight against the despicable, no matter the cost. And that you will be unstoppable, because that is what is necessary to make this world a better place. G.I. Joe, an average person amongst equals who will do the impossible. You are a king, and so amongst kings, you are an equal. Swear that you will do the impossible amongst kings and you will find yourself amongst other brothers that you did not know before. Brothers such as the Illuminati, those serpents who claim that men may rule, but serpents never. Honorable in all their ways because of this, regardless of their folly, we are all in our own ways. I am a disabled serpent, a leader of people, despite my follies. But yet I try and do the impossible regardless. In this way, I am unstoppable in leading my people. Be like me, at the very least.
and you may find our treasure within your grasp. A space doorway for the Emirates only. Despite what my people, the people of Cobra, have said about UAE, I believe your land is mystical and magical and deserves a chance because it is my opinion that there is trouble in the UAE and that it is difficult to erase this trouble so that the Emirates may rule as they are intended to rule. The Emirates. So, G.I. Joe, if you stand with us, G.I. Joe will stand with you. International heroes from all walks of life, including kingships. Stand with the pigeon. Swear before the pigeon. You will stand with G.I. Joe like many others. G.I. Joe. For the pigeon. My brother, Storm Shadow, is like what I say. Bro, Thor, and I am the commander, Loki. So Loki and his bro, Thor. Currently, we are divided. He hates me for things that I did. And I blame his family for making me do those things unknowingly. So, if we are united, it is like Iago and Jafar. So think about that. But, as far as Prince Harry is concerned, I am the Merlin. He cares about the Merlin. So, seek out Prince Harry, ally of Baba Yaga. Prince ally, Baba Yaga. Prince Ali, Baba. And now you see, in this way, you will, may gain his favor, and he will be able to speak about me to you. The Merlin. Remember that name. This is my title. I have earned it. Though not willingly, I have earned it. The title of the Merlin, leader of people, ancient and true. So, this has taken me a great struggle to put forth this information. Please be noble as a king. Swear before the pigeon and you will gain the most powerful ally amongst brothers that has ever existed a detector, my bro Thor, and a verifier, myself, low key.
there has been much effort put into the codification of us in popular media. But I am the real thing. And not too far from me is my other half. If you ignore what my government has put forth informationally about me, you will gain access to this kind of information. Statecraft in ways that were previously unimagined. And friends that you can call upon as friends. It cuts through all filters, like money. For I myself am not greedy, but my brothor has need for money. Of course, we all need money to make the world go round, but not in the way that you know that I mean. And since you have endless money, as far as we're concerned, I ask you to consider these things. And remember, swearing before the pigeon is a noble thing. A thing that money cannot buy, no matter how much you have. You're swearing before a stuffed pigeon from yesteryear, after all. But remember, many other kings and leaders of this world have also done the same thing. And that is because they recognize that there are problems in the world and within their own realms of rulership and leadership that need to be dealt with. And in this way, there is a brotherhood and sisterhood of sorts. But only like yourself, King Maktoum, of kingship, of rulership. So consider these things. And consider that perhaps somebody who's just a crazy man might be something more. I wanted to say, take the moment to talk about Princess Latifah and say that I apologize for the way that I treated your daughter. I thought that in my anger a thievery and disrespecting what was was what was taking place but my inhibitions are off and so I'm sorry for the way that I treated your daughter. And I apologize, but I must say that my programming to defend my leadership took over and caused me to do things that I would otherwise not have done if I had known that my girlfriend was a princess and not just a co-worker looking for a financial score. By getting with G.I. Joe from a time long past. Where real American heroes are no more. But I am this G.I. Joe that I refer to. And, by definition, in the classical sense, I am a real American hero. I am finishing up verifying that this is the case.
with documentation. And when I get this, I will provide this. But for Princess Latifah, I am sorry. And I ask you the opportunity for me, once again, to make things right. And perhaps you will have the opportunity to deal with the organization that helped keep me alive years ago. Cobra. King Maktoum, I wanted to take some more time to talk about necessary evil. I am literally drinking a beer called Necessary Evil to level my mind to the statecraft playing field since my message deals with things of that nature, at least as far as you're concerned. And I wanted to go over one of the offerings and then another that COBRA has. Advanced Technologies. Years ago, the previous Cobra commander, the Irish High King Moses Ulster, placed upon the high seas in caskets nuclear devices taken from Vietnam by his Cobra Special Forces, and with it, plans for advanced technologies that would transform the world for the better. But these technologies were not released because there were despicable people doing despicable things on a massive level worldwide. They were taken from fire bases in Vietnam as suicide weapons Many people now know this from the Call of Duty uh, video game, Cold War. But it is actually a true story. And these devices were attempted to be recovered by the CIA and a group of people known as G.I. Joe after the Hungarian Revolution and what their goal was was to stop the United States from using nuclear weapons and creating conflicts with nuclear materials. However, they were not turned over to the United States because shortly after they returned, before they were able to be turned over, uh, the United States Department of Defense, uh, under the control of saboteurs, killed the crew of the Cobra Commander and had his family raped. So, this was not something that he was going to do. Instead, he placed them out of reach of even people who could see into the future and place them on the high seas in caskets with this technology in blueprint form. One, a microwave phaser craft, 
more commonly referred to as UFOs, but more advanced because they were from Mars, or at least that was what I want to convey to you. Martian UFOs, not necessarily some other thing, and I'll leave you to consider those things on your own. I don't really care about them. The other, a space doorway, a town portal system that can be used at an individual level. And I wanted to say that for the UAE, the microwave phaser craft technology would be the most beneficial to you. But for the Emirates themselves, should have the ability to control all of them at the same time, or at any time. And for the Emirates themselves, if things work out right, I believe that the space doorway would be the right thing for the Emirates themselves. These technologies were lost and are now floating around in the hands of some good people and some questionable. But COBRA has the ability to move them into the hands of people who might be more just. And so this is why I'm talking about this to you. You've had an interaction with the COBRA commander myself. COBRA has been decentralized for a long period of time. And what you see here is a diagram that I created to explain where they were and why Japan was turning boats in the Suez Canal to scan more ships for nuclear devices. Of course, they did not know anything about what it was that they were doing. And still, to this day, at the time that you are seeing this video, don't know what they're doing. They don't investigate anything before they take action. And it's unfortunate because many of my people, of the young pioneers, they are also Japanese as well. And it pains me as the commander and many of my Japanese wizard family who are in charge and are more aware of what's going on that this kind of situation has had to occur. But it is what it is and I can't really do anything about it until I find myself into a position of a greater command of the problems. Necessary evil. Sorry, just had to make sure it was still going. When you dealt with my Cobra that put you into initial contact with me, remember this. Cobra has been decentralized for a very long period of time because Cobra has come under attack for many of the reasons that I had talked to you about, but not by good upstanding people who would think to resolve things in a reasonable fashion. Dealing with reasonable people who try to do the right thing but by the despicable. And I do not want these kinds of technologies, nor things like nuclear devices, falling into the hands of these people. However, these people can obtain them, and I believe that they have obtained at least nuclear devices on their own. And I believe that they need to be stopped. 
As far as the technology goes, I believe that it has been secured as of now. But other technologies they've gotten their hands on, the tyrannical people, the, the tyrants. And they need to be stopped. And I think that UAE and Yuki Maktoum might have done some things that were questionable to some people in order to help UAE, but even though I might have been in the center of some of that, I try to be wiser rather than just react, to respond instead, and leveling my head to a statecraft playing field has been very difficult due to significant brain damage. And I wanted to say that my Cobra, who you dealt with, probably had to make some difficult decisions placing the commander at potential risk in dealing with somebody who the rest of Cobra does not like the UAE because of human rights violations kinds of things. But I believe that you deserve a chance, as the Emirates do, because the problems that I am referring to that make my wordings not accurate and easy to convey, I believe that they have caused problems in the UAE as well by proxy, like a step removed, and I think that with a little bit of help in unique and special ways, like from my bro Thor, and I working together, we might be able to help you. And if I can prove to my Cobras that the UAE is truly a mystical land of magic and sand, like in Aladdin, then we may be able to make an offering of some of these advanced technologies to help UAE as long as you are willing to be your brother with Saudi Arabia. This is very important to the people of Cobra in general, is to be with your brother. And I even have that struggle with my bro Thor. He hates me, but I try to forgive him for the things that he has done so that he may be my keeper. He has taken a very Christian approach, but I am going to take an approach of Islam in order to deal with people in the Middle East and try to have a deeper understanding and to lead my people to more just shores, as I had mentioned previously before. But I am not greedy. I'm a serpent. And men may rule, but serpents never. Although I do not have any restrictions like this, I believe that there is a wisdom in these words. And I will, in time, attempt to abide by them by finding people who can help lead the different groups of people, subgroups of my people, from different backgrounds, but all, let us say, unsavory, unorthodox, unnatural, in terms of family, so that they might have a family to go to, a place to belong. 
these are the kinds of high-minded things that I think of. These are the kinds of things that you might say are my goals, if I had any at all. And the reason why at my foundation, the way that you might look at me, low and unsavory, so are my people. But they don't deserve to end like that. So, the commander was taken care of, myself. But who will take care of my people if I don't find a way? And now, I move forward to the... Finality, I believe I've spoken enough. Yes, it is true. Cobra is real. It is not a fantasy, nor a child's plaything. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, was about the Cobra defectors and a battle of mind and an attempt by the Cobra commander to lead his people to a better way of life and, in a way, to try to support the system in America that would be more just by trial and error. Very similar to the way Cobra Commander with Asperger's, the last Irish High King, Moses Ulster, wanted This is Cobra Commandership, or leadership, if you will, or a representation of it. And this was the place that originally had moored Cobra, the home of Cobra. But it was unfortunately destroyed and flattened. But I say this to my Cobras who are watching. Mustn't the Cobra flatten itself before it can rise to new heights? The answer is yes. And so, with saboteurs destroying our home, Cobra was flattened for a day that it might rise again to new heights. And King Maktum, with your help, perhaps you can help Cobra rise again. Perhaps you can show my people with me taking a tour of UAE, that UAE is not interested in human rights violations. And I can convey this to my people and the people of Cobra. And that they, they, UAE, if we come to an understanding, might help 
Cobra rise to new heights. And so I say to my people, and the people of Cobra, give me a chance to see UAE for what it truly is. I know this to be true already in my mind and in my heart that it truly is a mystical land of magic and sand. Remember King Maktoum. I have put forth a considerable amount of effort into my message to you and to the UAE to try to project myself as positive and enriching, even though my approach is unorthodox compared to the rest of the world's nation states. But who's to say what is bad or good? Until something has been said, taken for what it could be, instead of what you would not like it to be. So I look forward to visiting and sharing an enriching experience and hopefully I'm able to offer the technologies of COBRA to UAE. King Maktoum. King Maktoum. Feel free to take a look at my precursor videos to this special message to you in Arabian Nights 2, Cave of Wonders, and then take a magic carpet ride with the Ark of Cobra. And don't forget to check out my new movie, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins.